All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here and oh. Zagreus, both for your friendship and embarrassment of generosity. And I, in turn, am indebted to you, Orpheus, for your calm demeanor and ability to accept life's greatest challenges. You inspire me, and I wish you the best. Yeah, so there's a bunch of dialogue. I should probably not stand next to anybody when picking up my controller. Okay. Uh, so anyway, welcome to the Nighty Night update. It's, I don't even know what update number this is. Uh, but effectively, I guess let's go over and talk to them. It adds a character model and art for Nyx. And boy howdy, she looks great. But how can you do this to me? Blast your mirror by taking sides with him. You're standing against me. Neutrality ceases to be an option when a crisis rises to a certain point, Megara. You yourself shall have to choose allegiances. I have steadfastly told you this throughout our shared ordeal. I I love it. It's got like three Medusa heads, you know, kind of around her chest. The darkness gemstone. Moons for the shoulder pads. She does have little demon wings. Her hair flares up as kind of like bird wings. Another Medusa on her hat. Or maybe it's just a skull. And just, I don't know, it's super good. Like, freaking Gen Z was one of the one of the two artists that I really like tried to model my art after when I was uh, first getting started as an artist. I played Bastion, I believe it was at the end of my freshman year? Or no, it was at the end of my sophomore year and I thought it was amazing. I'm like, holy shit, I should go into game art. Like, it seems like there's an industry for it and boy, some of these people do great stuff and yeah, she's gotten better. I'd love to like actually speak with her. I, I wanted to try and interview her uh, back in college when I was a senior. And uh, she was too busy working on Transistor and didn't have time. But like, even nowadays, it's just like, holy shit, look at all that art. There's not many people I will just immediately be like, oh. But everything she does is so good. I thought that both of our allegiances were to this house, Nix. Seems I was mistaken. Do you have any idea what sort of pressure I am under here? Use caution with the tone you take with me, Overseer. I am the mother of the fates themselves. I do not act by whim or by mistake. Mind your own station and perform your role. All shall unfold eventually as it must. I like the intervening time no more than you. So, I should probably also mention, I've, I'm doing face cam as a bit of a uh, demo for a little while. We'll see if I keep doing it or not. On break, I guess. I main reason why I started doing it was people keep stealing my footage and I'm sick of it. And so it's kind of one of those where it's like this is an easy solution because nobody's gonna steal footage with my face in it. And uh, yeah, plus I don't know. It it is good for getting me to have good habits. If you notice, I'm well, you might not notice, but I'm sitting up fairly straight. I get very slouchy when I don't have a camera pointed at me, but my posture is at least 50% better when I do have a camera pointed at me. And that's actually really helpful. Anyway, hello. Yes, I don't suppose you know how come I keep running into Eurydice in particular out there. For all the shades resting eternally in Asphodel, it seems beyond coincidence I always find the one that's dear to you. I have no knowledge of the weavings of the fates, my friend. Perhaps they trample on what used to be my heart for leisure or for sport, do you suppose? The fates can't be that cruel. <laughs> the head chef always wants fish. What a melodramatic dude. Wait, what? Oh, fish. I forgot. We actually did some fishing last time. Hey. What's cooking? Right, Only then. some gems. Not the most useful. Patch up the seating, update the menu, clean the stove, stock the honor bar, sweep the rug, dust the rafters, mop the flooring, pay the broker. Oh, um... Sorry, Prince, way behind on my assignment, so if you'll excuse me, please. Do so, wait, before you fly away. There must be something I can do to help pitch in with everything. Doesn't matter how good you are at your job, what you're describing, that's more than one individual can handle. Your Highness, please. I know you mean well, but I have this. Wish everybody wouldn't doubt me all the time. Like that house contractor just gets to stand around waiting for work orders. Unless they come from me, then no. Oh, that might be my fault. 
I've been giving the contractor lots of work. Some of those lounge orders must be coming from you, right? This place is really shaping up. What? what? Wait. Then you're the one who's been authorizing all these improvements? Oh my. Oh my. Ah! Just trying to help. She's so cute. Alright, what can we trade? The answer is not a heck of a lot. Oh god, I have all my I have all my darkness back. Okay, Dad has something to say. Father, have you ever considered that Orpheus might be much better as a court musician if you permitted him to see his muse again? I have considered many possibilities, boy. And I trust Orpheus considered many possibilities before he signed away his rights to see his so-called muse when once he invaded my realm. So you're forcing him to stay here for eternity just because he signed a contract with you? Contracts with me are binding. Until such time as they dig themselves out of the archives and tear themselves up. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. Oh, really? Who knows? They might surprise you. That might mean we have a new renovation. Okay, do we have anything cool? No. We... Well, they changed the UI for this, but we don't have any other proper work orders. Uh, let's see, so we got quilted bedding. Looks like it's just a bun bunch of really expensive things. Uh, we're already done with everything. Seating red hide. Wait. Prism sphere, revolving. Oh, I thought I read that as revolting, and I'm like, Hades, stop getting all judgy up in my, my business. Okay, that's all done, and we've got a lot left there. All right. Well, let's go check out this new mirror, because that's super exciting. All right. Next updated my mirror. So we have a lot more things. So obviously we've got faded authority. I have to spend keys to reclaim stuff. Oh, that sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck that much, but still. Okay. So they added a lot more talents, but the talents are different. So, unlike uh, what they had earlier, now they've added a alternate talent for every talent in the game. So Shadow Presence is extra damage when you strike foes from behind. Alternatively, extra damage when you strike undamaged foes. Oh! Okay, so I can switch all of these freely. It's just the question of how much, how much darkness have I put into things. Okay, so damage when you strike undamaged foes. 40% of any darkness you collect restores your health by that much. That's actually really good. Uh, restores you to 30% of life one time per chamber when your life total is depleted. How does... So... So that's like Death Defiance. But ha triggers more often. So, effectively, it means you have a weaker extra life system, but it's on a per-chamber basis. So, you, that's... Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, Ruthless Reflex. If you dash just before getting hit, you gain extra damage and dodge chance for two seconds. Ooh. Maybe? Bissel Blood. Reduces foe's speed and damage by 5% while they have cast ammo in them. That's actually really good. Because that would slow them down and make them weaker. Really good, especially for bosses. Yeah, I like this. They're forcing you to choose how best to optimize your build. It's, it's something that I've been hoping for for a long time. And here we are. Your cast ammo regenerates, but no longer drops. Each rank makes this one second faster. That's obscenely good. Each rank gives you extra money every time you clear an underworld region. Wait, is that interest? <laughs> ha! Holy crap, that's good. Uh, extra damage while you are close to full health. Each rank gives you 3% damage for each different god whose boons you have. Uh, let's see. Higher chance of legendary or duo boons instead of rare. Chance for boons, hammers, and palms. Uh, 
randomly alter Boone and Well of Karen choices. Oh boy. Okay, so one way or another, we're maxing this one out. 15% interest isn't amazing, but all that would take would be a handful of chambers and it pays for itself. Uh, let's see. High confidence is probably better than thick skin. Maxed out already. Maybe. I like this one. A three second cast ammo recharge is really good. Oh. Oh. That's per underworld region, not chamber. Okay, so that's less good. But if I focus on getting money, it pays for itself. Whereas Deep Pockets is just a starting cash. So 50% extra damage. One extra dash, or... Eighty percent of darkness. That might be good. This would be that. really good for uh, really heavy hitting builds. I don't hit things from behind often, so that one's probably really helpful. Starting with a purse, purse and then having interest sounds awesome. It does. It's. It seems like you'd want to effectively hold on to money for the first two regions and then go spend crazy. So I think I'm going to skip Ruthless Reflex. We've picked it up, but it doesn't seem that that good. Uh, let's see. Family fake favorite. I'm going to grab that. Uh, and we're going to grab family favorite. It's not amazing, but privilege status is tricky to pull off. Let's see. I guess I'll pump it into Olympian Legacy and let's... I've mastered that. I like that. But I, I think I'm going to want God's Pride and Olympian Legacy. Because God's Chosen is good. Greater chance for boons, hammers, and palms. My main question is, can you have more than... Can you have more than one hammer show up in a run? Because that's, that's my sticking point here. Or not more than one, more than two hammers. Because I've only ever had two show up. I'll pick that up. Uh, oh, I'd rather have Death Defiance here. Yeah, I thought it was two or three hammers. I've had two, but the question is, can you have three now? Can you have four? Because unless that's actually possible, then it's not super interesting for me. This one is good, though. Rerolling Boon and Well of Karen choices. That's expensive. Now, I'm going to save up for Faded per uh, persuasion, at least for the time being. The power of All right. Uh, let's see. Let's double check. Make sure I don't have anything else. Dark regeneration is good, ish. Chthonic vitality is okay, but I think this is a little bit better. Sigin soul, I really like. Golden's good. High confidence is good. Okay, so this is a good mix. I honestly hope they add some more alternate talents. Just even more. Just go bananas. Alright, and we do not have... Come, Stygius. Stygius? Uh, let's see. I have no idea how to get the aspect of Excalibur. Let's see here. And it doesn't look like we have any new gifts. I have a lot of Ambrosia, but I'm just going to keep hoarding that. Uh, let's start Chthonic Coin Purse. All set. As we'll start with the extra cash. You are as multifaceted as anyone I know. Okay. So, I think you talked to Nyx to get the new aspect. Talk to Nyx with the Zagreus Aspect Sword. Oh, well, here we go. Mother, is there something I can do to help with all of this? I spend too much time Never away mind. from the house. Please, let me know. You are already doing what you can to help, my son. Continue doing so. Matters are at stake here concerning you and all of us. Your support and choices in this shape the outcome that shall come to pass. I understand, and I will do my best. Thank you for taking care of everything. I have every faith in you, Mother. 
and in this house. Farewell. Farewell. See you, Thad. He didn't show up. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything going on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh. Among my many children, both those born to me and surrogate to me, you are one of the most thoughtful and most generous of all. You have always cared for me and protected me and given me someone to look up to. This is nothing, Nyx. Okay, so we're going to want to give her a ton of nectar at this point. Because they finally fleshed her out as a character. Okay, so question is, what build do I go? Stygius. What's a good... Oh. I'm thinking let's do Aspect of Hera. Cast loads into your next attack, firing on impact. Let's do let's do a Hera Aspect run. As... That's pretty good. They upgraded Aspect of Guan Yu. I've heard it's good. I... Oh, it's fireworks now. Interesting. Coronatus. Still think I'm going to stick with this. That one, huh? I want to I want to mess with uh Keep hitting me. with cast ammo. So it takes 5 seconds for it to pop out, supposedly. <sighs> and then it just regenerates or heck if I know exactly how this is going to work. Miss me, boy. -o. Let's see, do we have any new... I think these are all about the same. There might be some new ones. Could Ready. be wrong. Oh! Guan Yu spin bounces off, uh... Sign it. Nephew! I'm mightily impressed with your ability to call those rivers there of all the denizens of my domain. Your crusty father's not entitled to the bounties of the sea. But on my limitless authority, you are... You have my rod of fishing. Now have this. What is this? The goods. All right, let's catch some fish. Not yet. Oh, there are foes nearby. Okay, so the one thing is I only have one cast ammo, which is a bit of an issue. But that's okay. Come, fishies. Nope, too early. Okay. It's been a while since I've done any fishing. So, we'll see. The least useful legendary for Wander. It's pretty bad, yeah. But, like, whatever. I'll make it work. Wow, that does some damage. Should fetch me something. Let's now see. What? Athena? No, we're going cash. We're going max cash. Next. Yeah, that bonus damage to enemies, undamaged enemies, is really good. Especially because I'm utter garbage at hitting things from behind. I mean, maybe I was better at it than I thought, but still. More or less, it means I can just one shot my way through a lot of, like, basic mooks. Okay. So we've got cash. We're, I guess we're just going to keep stacking cash here. Uh, let's see. Over here. Hello. None of that you. Yeah, I could I can actually just one shot the uh the little mine gemstones. Mine blasters. My mine dudes. My Minecraft. Come on, you knuckleheads. Nope. Blasted little. Well, this will be good practice for me, if anything. So I've only got 50 HP. We could... I should probably pick up some god boons. 
Not hers, though. I'm not actually sure if that's a good idea. It's probably worth it for me to go for the god boons, but... Let's see, no grandma this time? I, they've probably changed her cast, but... I'm hoping for something closer to... I was really hoping for a Poseidon cast, to be honest. Because a Poseidon cast would just be beautiful. Okay. Ooh, that's really cool looking. Let's grab the Trove Tracker. Small chance of getting even more cash. But yeah, her cast is still a laser turret. Does it have abysmal range, though? Or not range, aim? Because, like, I remember my biggest issue with, with Grandma was just the fact that, like, you would hit an enemy with time. it. What now? You'd hit an enemy with it, and it would effectively, like, shoot, like, half a All centimeter set. away from them. And that would just be it. Sisyphus or Z Oh, no, the trove! Okay. I knew that was coming. Whoa, the heck? He missed bad. Okay. There we go. I'm not used to having so little cast ammo, but that'll be okay. Uh, mm, eh. I know just how much you must want out of there, young man. And I want that as well. <laughs> Good thing for you, as I get what I want around here. Ask anybody. Okay. Uh, I like Zeus cast. Zeus cast Something is good, and uh, doesn't lead to thunder dumb. Oh, that's real good. That's real good. All right, and that heals me up, gets me some max life. Can't restore any further death defiance, but I don't really need it. We get a key. I don't really want the key, but that's fine. Too bad I can't bottle this stuff. Now, do we have a fishing spot? Because I'd like to practice my fishing so I don't just absolutely bomb it every single time. The answer is no, no fishing. No fish! Well, Nectar it is. See, there's a new weapon to unlock, so keys are good for that. True. I don't actually know how many keys I'm packing, so that might be a good, a good point. I really like the... the regen bonus. I think the only travesty is I only have one cast ammo to play with. Which is a bit of a shame. Load it up. And I don't have the really fun upgrade, so it's only hitting like one guy at a time. In a dense situation, it could be amazing. I wish there was almost an upgrade that changes it so you just get, like, a light version of the, um... Of the god boon. Hey, Hammer Daedalus. That's a good one. Oh! Did they change the, uh, trap art? I think they did, actually. Okay, that's... That's pretty good. But it would be really, really cool if you could actually get, like, a light version of whatever your cast is apply to every attack instead. So, like, no bonus damage or a very small amount of bonus damage, but it has the uh, ricochet effect. Oh. Okay. These are all really good. So, can't power shot. Probably twin shot. I feel like twin shot's probably my best. My best. 
I'm curious if that gets me a twin cast. I certainly hope it does. None of these are good. But yeah, the uh, the spike traps are different. Oh, I can't stay long. So how about we get this business over with, brother dearest? It is fight time. You're too kind. Time's up. Okay. Dust. Bang out. I gotta remember to use my cast ammo a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that was faster. That's the end the of power of the Get that. Upgrade my cast. Cast is good. You got a lot of them. Bye. Alright, we could go shopping, we could go with power, or we could see great grand them chaos. Such darkness emanates from you, old son of Hades, that I once again did not entirely anticipate you would arrive just now. I suspect even your father must have difficulty keeping track of you through the domain he calls his own. Okay. So, next three encounters don't use special. It's not bad. Thirty percent extra damage is pretty good. Extra boon rarity is good. Oh, it's because these are grabbage. All right, let's try re-rolling this. Well. Special dealing extra damage is effectively pointless. Named shot or abyssal strike isn't so bad. I'm gonna go for abyssal strike for better or worse. Because Maim Shot is a bit spooky. Because I it would pretty much doom me. Okay. We could go Dionysus. But I don't actually want Dionysus. So Papa Power, we're just gonna keep pumping my um cast damage up real hard. What's the uh Extra damage from traps. Okay. Just be careful of that and we'll be all good. I bet Electo's next. It's gonna be semi lurking because I'm drafting loaders. Oh. <laughs> I will not stand aside for you, Zagreus. You are a waste of time. You can't okay, so we do a ton of damage to her, which is kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Life is good. Yeah, I might be kind of strong for this right now. It's been a while since I've played, but I got the muscle memory to fight her, no problem. And it also looks like you can break her out of phases now. Ow. Got her. That's easy. Let's see, is the music any different? I don't think so. I think it was stuck on the guitar riff for a little while, but... I'll take that. I really like the healing off of darkness, because it actually makes it worth it going for darkness now. Do bathe yourself in magma when you get to Asphodel. Off to Asphodel. Dad, have you ever considered that you're kind of a dick? Uh, let's see. So extra life isn't a bad idea. Uh, let's see. Extra damage for striking. Ooh, undamaged foes. Also striking enemies from behind. Wait, hold up. Oh, is the Phoenix Plume. Or the Lambent Plume. Or is the Butterfly? Is 
So we could up boon rarity. It's kind of okay. Iframes is okay. I don't care for a lot of this stuff, admittedly. Black Shawl is interesting. Yeah, screw it. Let's level up the Black Shawl. Help. Take the bonus damage. Let's grab a... Oh. Guess I should have checked that first. And... Do we sell Huge Catch? Yes. Could use the extra coin. See you, no. Tartarus. Did that... Where does the... Where does the interest kick in? Would did I already miss the opportunity, or is that that it right there? Okay, it must have already kicked in then. Wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? I would love some alternate levels. Oh, hey, fishing. It's you or me, fishies. Nope. I'll get you next time, fish. I am so bad at fishing. All right. Ooh, money. Let's see. Don't think we have any more money. Anyway, Might let's go well. see chaos. In the name of Hades. Okay. More trap damage. Boon rarity. Slower. Reroll it. None of these are epic. I suppose that this was unavoidable. Extra darkness isn't terrible. Be careful, son of Hades. As I heal from darkness. Wave makers. Enjoy the lava, jerk Ready? witch. I really want to try this with, um... I really want to try this build instead of the cast bow, which is good. Uh... But I think I want to try this with Thunderdome or something. Maybe. Or Artemis go heavy on the cast. For safekeeping. See how it goes? Okay. Mainly, I just wish I had one more cast ammo. Okay, could go money, could go shopping. Uh, we do actually need... So, I could just keep stocking up on cash like a crazy pants. Or we could actually spend some of it. Course is set. Obviously. Ow. Ripes? That got to be a bit much. Okay, there we go. This is just a lot. I would very much appreciate Set. having a little what there's lava back there like that apparently so all right we're good okay definitely took a little bit a little bit of damage nothing on that okay what do we get uh if i grab tinge of Erebus, does that heal me it does i will gladly accept tinge of Erebus. Let's see. So yeah, is this modded? Not modded yet. Moving right along. Uh, let's see. I could mess with some modding uh, between runs. I'm not entirely sure what I would want to mess with. Part of it is like the modding in this game is fun, but every time they update it, it wipes my mod. Uh, like my entire mod setup, which is a little disheartening. Not gonna lie.
and I'd much prefer to, like, mess with mods. Probably when this game hits 1.0. Like, I doubt I'm going to be back on this update for terribly long. Maybe a number of episodes. I want to try the new sword aspect. I want to try the new fists. Obviously. Looks like they really improved iframes on dodging at some point. I mean, I kind of knew that. I don't know if they did it on this run, though. It just feels like I'm... I'm still getting hit, but I'm getting hit less. <laughs> Zang! I heard you got to Orpheus. He's got this whole entire ballad now about how you are really me. Or maybe it's the other way around. I have no idea. <laughs> Here! Alright, Special Inflicts Hangover. It's okay. Dash causes Hangover. Call does Hangover. I like the Hangover Call. Oh, Dash causes Hangover several times near where you started. That's actually pretty good. I'm still going to go for Dionysus' aid. Stronger. Just because that's... It's an okay one. There we go. Okay, don't have anything else. We get some darkness. Don't know if I care too much. Seeing as we just healed. Okay. Should be okay. My confidence in my abilities in this game drops more or less whenever I haven't played it in a while. I mean, that's that should be pretty normal. Hard games are hard. Luckily, we're not doing this with any particularly rough packs. Especially because we're trying to farm as much darkness as we possibly can for a while. My chaos boon evolved a new effect. I got new darkness. Uh, let's see. Could go shopping. But probably want max HP. Uh, let's see. Ha ha. You really think you can get out of here? Wow, that cast damage is good. Ow, 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 ow. Get dead. Dionysus. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, and we heal back up to full. Not darkness. More darkness. Power. Hell yeah, darkness. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going for this. I'll go shopping at some point. At some point. Uh, let's see. Any of these breakable? Okay, don't hurt myself doing my special anymore. Hey! <laughs> I see you grew your Can you get out back. yet? Wander could get out if it weren't for the final boss being stupid hard. Banana OP. Freaking banana. Wow, I do a lot of damage. There we go. Right, they changed the phases on this. I like that, though. The new phase is much better. Makes this boss into less of a slog and more actual fun. It also helps that I am just murder-nuking these, these guys. Turns out doubling all your shots is, uh, okay. really... Freaking strong. And I don't even have a proper damage boost up yet. Olympus. Oop. Oop. Probably should have waited on that one, but that's okay. Excuse me. None of that you hear. Okay. Hang out here. There we go. No zombonies. Oh, boy. I forgot how hard this is on my hands, though. The button mashing in this game is a little tough. Well, button mashing, it's a lot of holding. Specifically with the bow. 
just gonna wait until my cast ammo's back. Cause there's no rush. It's it's only packed to punishment that makes this boss particularly uh, intolerable. Olympus. He couldn't deal with me being in the way. He's like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> All right. And clear. We good? We're good. Something for the mirror. That's some darkness. That's some interest eventually. Oh, I didn't check if there was money. Oh, well. Off to taint Elysium again. Okay, let's see what we got here first. Yarn of Variadne. Otherwise, nothing particularly useful. And I want to hold on to these. Those are the only two god boons I have. It's... yeah. Alright, why not? Alright, to the onwards! You thought of using Boldy Companion for farming. Boldy? Are you pulling my leg or is there a the Boldy Companion? Wish. There. There we go. Slam. Just need to storm my way through that eternal paradise. Okay, hammer Daedalus. Hell yeah. Like, I remember Boldy, but I don't Good remember Boldy as like a... It's not like the little death mouse that I've got hanging out. Because, yeah, if I could have Boldy as like my, my number two dude, I could and I would. But it's just no good. Because I ain't Sisyphus and I can't bring him with me. Did I also get a Boldy doll? I don't I don't know if I got a Boldy doll yet. Maybe I did. A Daedalus hammer. Okay. Ooh. Well, no power shot. Let's go, Coronach. That should be good. Alright. Uh let's see, first and foremost. See, the problem is Prometheus Stone only lasts for a little bit. I almost wish Prometheus Stone was permanent for the run. But freaking expensive. Uh, Max health or... Nah, let's not be dumb. Let's go for Hermes. I'm noticing I'm, I have a lot less max health than I normally would have. I guess it makes sense. What else? So we have speed double shot. Ready. Which ends up being pretty freaking good. I don't know if I've ever gotten this combo before. I'd always assumed that you couldn't combo these together, but I guess you can. Hey boss, not much to report up here, but I've not exactly come this far to bring you news, have I? Okay, special is faster, dash more times, dash more times. I'm grateful for this. Time to go shopping at this point. Like the idea of Boldy just body slamming the room on command. That'd be lovely. Why is Boldy not a weapon? Should be useful. Okay. Now I'll buy it. Hello to you as well, mate. Ooh. Yes. Yes. So the question is Zoobs or making me choose. Let's go Dionysus. Alright. Lightning effects also make them jolted. Why do it to me like that, Zagman? I thought we were close as grapes upon the vine, but I was wrong. Did what I had to do. Whoa. That's new.
Okay. He's trying to respawn. So they changed how Dionysus's damage zones work. Ow! Ow! Holy shit! That okay? That hurts. Who's next? <laughs> okay. Thanks for a good laugh there, Zag. What was it I was going on about before? All right, special. All these are bad. I guess we'll grab after party. Man, losing out on that uh, that boon quality, the forty percent chance of it being rare or better, like losing out on that is actually just downright brutal. And before Boldy's a Rock of Ages reference. Speaking of Rock of Ages, uh, Rock of Ages will be coming out. I think in June? I'm was it June? I think it was either June or something. Uh but they sent me an email being like, hey, we're finding like media influencers and such that we'd want to finish uh feature. Uh do you wanna be in Rock of Ages to some degree? And I'm like, hell yeah. Uh so we're gonna we're gonna see how that boils down. But yeah, if I'm a lucky duckling, we'll get some kind of wander themed something or other in Brock of Ages 3, which I'm looking forward to. I should play Brock of Ages 1, actually. Uh, Hermes or. I'm going Hermes. Oblong helmet rock. Oh boy. I hope they don't. Well, I mean, they could give me a full boulder. That'd be kind of amusing. Can I get a boulder that just floats really slowly towards the exit? No. That'd be dumb. I think it'd be amusing. Oh, I should see if that... I hope they have co-op in Rock of Ages 3, because I'll, I'll drag Shell onto that series. Olympus. Just be like, alright, Shell. You are a boulder. I am defense. She'd probably agree to it, honestly. Olympus. We hope you like poison gas. In the name of Hades. Okay. Godspeed. That's freaking really good. Alright, and let's go for Athena. If I can get a, um, what about paint jobs for boulders? I think that would actually probably be the best way of doing it. Well. Man, these guys turn around to poke me quick. Uh, but yeah, having... Just alternate skins that you can unlock uh, for various YouTubers and stuff. And just, like, dumb internet things. I'd be fine with that. Like, I would almost prefer it if they partnered with, like, some other games, including this, and were just like, Hey, uh, Supergiant, can we can we use Boldy? I mean, he's already in our game. Can we just, can we just use, like, that exact skin? And Supergiant would probably be like, yeah, sure. Like how freaking rad would that be? I'd love it. Do not fear your father's cruel legions, cousin. Their lives are long since forfeit, and they cannot stand against one of your birthright, nor against my power. Uh I got, I'm going I'll for it. In your favor yet. We'll probably maybe be able to trade it up. We'll see. That sucks a bit. Uh, let's see. I need gems, but I'm probably... We're probably gonna turn some of the mods on before, uh, before we play again. Just... Just because. But yeah, I'm honestly a little bit surprised more developers don't work together. Uh, to some small degree. Uh... Like, not exactly in the same vein, but I got an email earlier today 
next. about uh, Tiny Metal, which is the uh, the Advanced Wars like indie game. Uh, came out. There was Tiny Metal, and then they recently came out with Tiny Metal Full Metal Rumble. But they're actually doing a collaboration DLC between. Um, uh, they're doing a collaboration DLC between them and Wargroove. Uh, which I think is actually kind of cool, and I'd like to see more developers do that kind of thing. That if, yeah, you make similar games, like, maybe, maybe just team up. I realize that I'm sure there's business reasons for why. Dionysus. But, like, I'm so much more excited when I see, like, Bye. say, Hyperlight Drifter in Brawl Out. Because then I'm like, yeah, I'll, nice. I'll play Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, let's see. At this point, we're going shopping. They're so competitive, sadly. I think it's just one of those where it's hard to work together with other developers. Okay. Probably get boil boiling point. I don't need the extra stuff, and I'm gonna heal the full shortly anyway. Yeah, I'm actually really com curious how competitive developers are. Few others in Elysium are so unwise to take up arms against Asterius and myself. Well, fiend, are you yet fearful for the inevitable end to your foul quest? Be gone! Like, I know YouTubers and streamers can be weirdly competitive in a really bad way. Prepare. Here he comes. Like, I was specifically uh, reading a, a thing recently about how smaller communities refuse to acknowledge, uh, refuse to acknowledge uh, partner streamers' existences. If they show up in a, if they show up in chat or something, and it's like, oh, that's tragic. Now to deal with you. Thank you, thank you. Prepare yourself. How? God damn it! All right, whatever. Hold you, unwelcome pustule. I shall run you through. Whoever wrote the script for Theseus is just kind of genius. Okay. Nice fist. Hey, money. Oh, goddess Demeter, yeah, I must on have me. your support. Betrayal! Oh, God. Blast you. Okay. There he goes. That was easy. I think I got hit once, once or twice. Still got it. And my HP goes back up to full. Hell yeah, darkness. King Theseus has fallen to the likes of you. Don't forget Asterius. Yeah, that's that's not Boldy. That's companion Shady. Which does come from Sisyphus. So, it's not a boldy. That said, I should probably start using using that. Because a thousand damage and drops a smattering of stuff. Well, I'll pick that up next time. Okay. Don't want to sell any of these. They swat the positions for whatever reason. Why did they do why would they do that? Okay, uh let's see. I'm going to do Harpy Feather Duster. I'm not that strong. Huh. Apparently a fan can show up in the sands. Don't know why or how, but one of the shades will be red at some point. That's kind of adorable. I've reached the surface.
There we go. There's the menu. Shiny. Not that we need this too much. Darkness doesn't really drop up here. Not that I remember. It's been a while. That's quite a stash there, Charon. Pleasure doing business. Yeah. Speaking of Karen's stash here, uh, I'm gonna pick Much up pleasure. the heart and we'll leave the rest. Uh, let's see. Let's go for Wave Daddy first. I bet it's in here. <laughs> oh, right, I can deflect. Hell yeah. I can deflect. Hello. I do like arrows to the butt repeatedly. That's, I think, what I was hitting. I could be wrong. I was hitting a lot. That's a lot of coin. Yeah, I wish I had one more cast ammo to do with this. I'd love to see what would happen if I had two of them regen in the same time. Ooh. Okay. Interesting that he he's getting the shields. I wonder if you can actually right. if enemies will have um Ahoy, my godly nephew. I've arrived, so set aside your worries and let's drench the dead. Alright. Special knocks foes away, random assortment. These are real boring. Uh let's see, ocean's bounty or sunken treasure at this point. I feel like a I'm gonna grab Ocean's Bounty. It's high tide. Because I'm 90% certain Hades is gonna drop a shit ton of darkness. And so I might as well roll with it. Let's see here. Not what I was looking for, though. Uh, let's see. Dionysus? Dionysus. Let's pick up here. the powers and then we'll go after all the oh. other stuff. So, what's the weapon Wanderers using? I'm just using the bow. Set. I like poisoning dudes. Look at all that coin. Works surprisingly well, honestly. Oh, Ow. I hate this stuff. Did get me. Okay, so slightly less size than I was hoping for, but that's okay. Oop. Give me that moonch. Wait, Pathing said, I haven't beaten Hades with a bow? What? 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 I... In the name of Hades. Okay. Eh. I'll go for I the nectar. Stronger. Meta progression is honestly I'm more important to me than like half this stuff. Especially because Hades should be easy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm should sinking go in my chair a little bit, which is bad. Oh. All right. Cheers, mate. Special is faster. Now let's go for. Time to go. Twenty percent chance to dodge. All right. Here goes. Well, this is unfortunate. Nice part is I do a shit ton of damage. Reminded me of a thing. Wander, I wrote a whole D&D homebrew book themed around punching the hell out of things. That actually sounds pretty cool. I not exactly in the same vein, but I I kickstarted a D like a homebrew D&D book earlier about um cooking uh specifically and like you know fighting monsters, getting ingredients from them and cooking cool food from it. And like some of it was uh like you could get uh, familiars made out of, like, food bits and whatnot. Like, dessert things. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want to send that in my direction, I can take a look at it. I would not mind integrating that sort of thing as, uh... I, interestingly enough, I guess, uh... Seeing as I'm finally DMing again, I'd very much like to include just a little bit of homebrew here and there. 
I mean, obviously, I have a lot of homebrew, but if people have, like, kind of neat NPCs or, like, uh, sort of monsters that they've invented that aren't just like, this is the Tarrasque, but my version! Uh, I'm super down for, like, checking that stuff out. I just remember, the first time I ever opened up, uh, like, calls for homebrew content, uh, submitted by fans, everybody just sent the most edgelordy nonsense ever. It was both hilarious and kind of frustrating, because I just couldn't use any of it. Like, I had one guy that was, like, super passionate about getting his, like, I think it was, like, an assassin monster thing, and it was just, like, I looked at it, I'm like, there's no way this is a CR2 monster. It had, like, 60 HP and just, like, a bunch of other shit, and I'm like, Here goes. I feel, I feel like you've never played D&D &D before, you looked at stat blocks and said, yeah, this is right. <laughs> Not relevant to yours in the slightest. Just reminds me. Because I'm starting to open up the... Or get to the point where I'm going to open that up again fully. Am I doing a Pathfinder CR2? No, it was D&D 5th Edition. I mean, they they could have submitted a Pathfinder thing, but... Uh, <laughs> that little rat there is just like... Eh, 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 eh. Not even animating his attack, which would explain why I get hit by them all the time. There's no tell, they just hit you. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my campaigns, because my next session isn't until potentially the end of the month-ish. Uh, when everybody gets back from vacation. And even then, like, I should probably have two okay. campaigns running sooner than later. I just gotta cobble together another D&D &D group. Come die again. Aha! Oh, whoops, rocks. So we are. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Dionysus. I think it's just this rat at this point. I think we're good to go. There's something. Alright. Are we good? I remember how messy some of the stuff for fan submissions for Grave Man were. I think my favorites, though, beyond the really overpowered ones, there were the That's ones that were, like, how do I even describe it? Ooh, Jolt or Hangover damage. Let's go for the Hangover damage tick. Might still be able to grab the rest. Let's go this way. this way. Grave Man had a lot of homebrew items anyway. Might as well toss in some homebrew mechanics. Some of them were, like, very much, like, not at all playtested or even thought through. Hello, uh, I remember one person straight up was like trying to integrate their like crazy powerful uber sword into the campaign being like and you can give it to this character and then they'll find it in this dungeon and then they send me messages being like hey you didn't put it in the chest that I told you to put it into and I'm like I oh boy. I appreciate enthusiasm I just also need reason. But no, I, I will 100% integrate um, homebrew into my campaigns if I th think it fits. This cooking book specifically, I think, is kind of a perfect example of, like, homebrew that I'd love to in include. Maybe not in um, in the current one that I'm doing. I still need to come up with a name for it. Working title is just Cursewood, which is boring, but boring sometimes works. Olympus. There we go. Could we get a palm. Hate. Palm gives me hangar damage, god gain. Let's go for the lightning, not that Much it's amazing. Hit the spot. Got 
this delicious sack of meal for you, boy. Okay. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I'll take the 11% damage. That actually is a bit. Thus has the prince again persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of his way. Thank you, boy. So you wonder, since you have a lot of experience with D&D, how would you see a monk with some Naruto-style abilities? Honestly, my opinion on that sort of thing is a little low. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to move the face cam. Not that it matters too much here, but I think I'm going to move the face cam to the top right. Just because there's no UI in the top right. There's some UI in the top left. Uh, but stuff like Naruto abilities and whatnot, that very depends, very much depends on the DM and the campaign style. If you're going for like a really goofy, high-end, high fantasy, ridiculous campaign, I think it's fine. If you're trying to play like relatively standard fantasy, no, I think that starts getting a little goofy. Now, if you wanted to nice do like a to know. monk warlock with a bunch of abilities, there you go. That's an option. No matter how often you defeat me. I shall face you here. <laughs> but like, my recommendation always is try and figure out how to do it. Try and figure out how to do it within the bounds of the pre-existing mechanics before you start adding homebrew. What shall it take for you to stop this foolishness? Because adding extra abilities means either, like, another player is going to get annoyed, or your character is going to get overpowered. And you really don't want either of those. I mean, being overpowered is fun, but it's a lot easier when it's, like, within the bounds of clearly defined rules, so everybody knows. Time for a real feast. Why are you staining my clothes with wine? Okay. Let's finish this then. That's bad. There we go. And we're good. You. Oh. Why? I was much stronger once than this. Blast. You. Yes. By my father's name. Cool. That was a decent run. Obviously. Oh. I had never beaten him with a there bow? There a myriad of tales to be told, of both great deeds and of vainglorious defeats. And this has been a tale that falls somewhere in the middle overall. Oh, screw you, narrator. I did fine. No! Let's see, do you know of D&D Wiki and its homebrew stuff? What's your opinion Show me on that it? Time, Father. I used to do D&D Wiki when I was in high school, but like half the stuff there's super busted. <laughs> oh, that was a nice animation. I spooked him awake. Death by hey, brawl. Lad. Hey Achilles, I uncovered a late passage in the codex with regard to Thanatos and me. It says you say you think that I'm the god of blood. I'm not the god of anything, I think. 
Oh, nonsense, lad. If you're a god, then you're the god of something, I'm sure. It's just an observation, and I genuinely hope it's no offense. But see, your father and your mother and your bloodstones and your disposition. I'm not the god of anything, all right? The one unfortunate part about this being Greek myth is that all of this stuff is kind of set in stone. And after a certain point, it's, it's just seen as returned. them playing liberties. So the idea of categorizing Zagreus as the god of blood is just fan canon. And that's a bit sad. Like, I love, I love the Greek mythology angle they've gone with. And it's absolutely worked for them. But I almost wonder if I'd be more invested if they had everything be somewhat analogous but original characters. Just to, um... Want my columns back? You stole them from me, super giant. I'm a bit sad about that. Should visit the head chef. Diamond for 100 gems. Yeah, it's special. It. We need more. We need a lot more diamonds. Ooh, diamond for 10 nectar. No. Yeah. This is not here. Please take these, will you, chef? Always a pleasure. You know, we can't be seen together like this, Zagreus. No necks either. Wait, no. But I want to buy my fists. Can maybe use some rest. Oh, go lie down. Oh. Go lie down, they say. The heavy sleeping underworld prince arises, with the feeling that the brief nap he intended as a respite from the rigors of the day or night apparently was none too brief at all. Ugh, I'm late for work. Father's going to kill me. Before the mirror. Responsibility rejecting Zagreus strides down his father's hall, quite unconcerned about the urgency with which he is expected to behave under a set of circumstances such as this. Going as fast as I can, you hurry up. The door to the administrative chamber beckons just beyond the hall. The prince perchance believes that he may enter quietly without drawing the notice of those laboring within. You better not give me away, old man. So we get to see what's beyond these doors. This door. Sorry. You're late, boy. Again. The day or night's duties are sheer simplicity itself. At least at first. As when the prince simply signs in to signal the commencement of his shift. Oh, gods. Get on with your responsibilities. Records of expired house contractor renovations line a desk in the administrative chamber, though the prince has absolutely no desire now to organize them alphabetically by date. None whatsoever, yes. Attendance records of the working shades who toil for the house need to be verified. The shades do compensation rapidly approved. And yet the prince cannot remember all the necessary steps. I haven't forgotten. No one told me. The often failing prince attempts to sort the ledgers in the fashion necessary for the proper keeping of his father's realm. Damn it. That is not correct. The hard-laboring shades responsible for the administration of the prince's father's realm merely look on at the prince's ill-fated attempts. Oh, come on. Incorrect. The relaxation-loving prince never paid suitably enough attention to learn properly how to arrange the record bookings of the regions of his father's realm. Doesn't make any sense. That's not correct. This set of delicate responsibilities is easily achieved, at least by someone capable and trained to do the work, unlike the oft-distracted Underworld Prince. What? Wrong again. 
A careful record must be kept of all expenses paid within the house. A delicately handled tabulation process, which the prince is ill-equipped to fully undertake. I... Uh... Enough, boy. Wrap it up. I should have talked to him. At last, the work disliking prince records a summary of the results of his attempts to be of any use to the administrative needs of his grim father's house. Okay, I'm done. So, can I go yet, father? <sighs> Not only were you late again, but then you also failed to perform even the simplest tasks that I had asked repeatedly that you complete. How many chances do you need at this? I am too lenient with you. Too lenient? Instead of lambasting me non-stop, have you considered maybe training me some more to do this fascinating work to your satisfaction? You'll forgive me if I didn't memorize every laborious detail the last time you performed your monologue about how all this works. Excuse me? If I'm not mistaken, you're deflecting your incompetence toward me? As though the goddess of wisdom herself has come to aid you in your time of need. I could replace you here and now with any number of simple shades hungry to work here. Then why don't you? I don't want any of this. I'm not the one who drew the short lot with your brothers and got stuck here forever. Why am I having to do this senseless parchment pushing for you? Why are you stuck? You're not. You're fired. I was wrong to think you were prepared to take on any responsibility at all. And don't you ever invoke your uncles here again, or I'll have you cast into the lowest pits of Tartarus. Now get out of my administration and my sight. Uh, at least I can't be late for that job anymore. And I had been thinking Hades was just tough dad, but not bad dad. How many times has it been? I was wrong. Two more runs and we're at 100. Sort of. Do I want to spend a key and get a lot of my stuff back? Nah. It's not worth it. But yeah, that sucks. Like, I I get Hades' frustration. Zagreus sounds like a shit employee. But you're not an employee if you're forced to do a job. Like, <laughs> I have totally hidden in my room. Um, like, I, I will admit, work and employment and some other stuff is... A touchy sub subject, but I don't feel like anybody should ever be made to work in something that they're really not suited for, because that's just how you get worse. Like, that's, that's just how you create a worse product. You do terrible work, and yeah, you can't be a good employee if you're not trained at all. Like, I feel like every I single person it. has different strengths and weaknesses, and yeah, sure, some people are more capable than others. But, like, there are some things that certain people just aren't very good at. Like... Hey, uh, something back there weapon. for you, pal. There, there we, go. we go. Mouth on the twin fists. Let's say we crack some skulls. So, Whoa, Pummel, Rising Cutter, Dash 3. System. That seems fun. Okay, this will be enjoyable to mess around with for sure. But like, if I had, if I were the god of whatever and my, my son was kind of distractible and brash and whatnot, I put him to work, uh, honestly, with Ares or someone else, you know, make him do a variety of interesting tasks to keep him engaged. And maybe keep him out of the house. I mean, I realize he's probably just cursed to be stuck here. Huh. Weird. But, like... This is just poor management, honestly. Like, I've had shit jobs. Not the worst, but, like... Uh... My, my worst job that I ever had was... Working at a grocery store pushing... Shopping carts? 
And for whatever reason, management had this beautiful idea to keep everybody in the same uniform, which was white, you know, business shirt, button down collar, so on and so forth, button down shirt, uh, preferably not long sleeves, but you could have long sleeves, no problem. Uh, black slacks, belts, a tie, a thick canvas blue apron, and freaking black dress shoes. Dress shoes are terrible for standing around in. You can get some good loafers that kind of fit, but, like, dress shoes are to look good, not to stand around. And so I had these, like, awful shoes, minimal traction. Yeah, it was office attire. Uh, it sounded a little mixed. The apron was just because that's what every employee wore for whatever reason. But, like, otherwise it was office attire at a goddamn low-end grocery store. The Market Basket in Burlington, if you want to check the place out. I'm pretty sure they still have the, uh, the exact... Burlington, Massachusetts. I'm pretty sure they still have the same uniform. Uh, but I straight up, on my, like, first or second day there, I had to threaten to quit... Because they were saying, you can't wear your extra wide black shoes. You have to go buy $200, $100, $200 fancy shoes. And I'm like, I are you paying for them? And they're like, no. Then it's like, okay, this isn't worth it for me. Because it was just like a once a week part-time job. At seven twenty five an hour, it would have taken me... I mean, maybe only two, three weeks to to afford those shoes. But even then, like, it's not worth it. I was only going to be working for, what, eight weeks total? So spending half of it just to afford a pair of shoes that I didn't want? Like, screw that. And so eventually, I think they just stopped bothering me about it. They didn't say I could. They just didn't give me shit about it after the first, you know, couple of days of me rolling in. And, yeah, I think they lightened up on the shoe restrictions, which is good because you don't make people walk around for, you know, six to eight hours. No, no, it was six hours a day just shy of they didn't want people to have lunch breaks so they'd always cut people off early um and it was just like it was the shittiest thing ever and i was the freaking cart pusher outside in like 90 plus degree weather in this whole get up and yeah the shoes were the the last straw for me the rest of it was insane and good management would have said yeah this is dumb we don't actually need you to be in this uniform just wear wear comfortable shoes wear shorts Wear a shirt that doesn't make you look like a slob and go out and push carts. Because that's what we hired you for. And they're like, nope, got to be in the uniform. And it was dumb. It was Hades level of dumb. And so whenever I see that sort of thing, it's terrible. Happy employees are productive employees is a phrase the employment industry has for the most part learned. Not all of it. There's a lot of really dumb managers out there. Uh, I was talking to my dad earlier who works for the government. Um at like one of their labs effectively uh we're gonna we're gonna go mod this game uh i'm just gonna mess around a little bit i want to get more gems and darkness and i don't want to keep farming for it endlessly uh and maybe we can mess around with some uh some of the hammer boons as we go along uh but i just mismanagement is terrible my my dad was talking about this how like they keep having like deadlines come up and hire a bunch of people like three months before the deadline thinking yeah, this will work, and it doesn't. It never does. E everybody still has to, like, learn how to work at a place, and three months is not enough time to get people, like, up to speed. Uh...